welcome Leos. It's the end of September heart spread for Leo. Um, point out that Wednesdays are always Leo Virgo Day. I very much hope to, starting about the first of the month, I start regularly putting out singles reading um, for every sign, just like I do for the heart spreads here, like we're doing today. Um, so I do 12 signs every week, uh, two signs a day. Wednesday is your day, so the singles will uh, also go out on Wednesdays for Leo's Burgess uh, when I get them rolling. Um, and that's for if you're totally and completely, uh, utterly single uh, with no one on your mind. And this is going to read who's on your mind and you know, particularly who's in your heart. So if there's someone you're thinking about, would love. Honestly, this works. You know, if, if the person you're thinking about is a friend, it's going to be a friend we're talking about. Um, just have to intuit a little differently. Um, I can find, a, um, you know, guardian angels with this. Uh, and I mean like ancestral angels. You know, I don't have the clout apparently to deal with the archangels. That's okay. I figure they're busy uh, doing their oversight um, stuff, you know. Um, that's good with me. But it's, you know, it's not just for uh, romantic love relationships, honestly. Uh, <clears throat> Earl Grey tea. <sighs> One of the joys. So, fifth house, Leo. Whew, let's see what we got here. This is going to be your energy. I'm using the Clint Dart deck. It's, I haven't really used it much in readings until now. But wow, you're showing up as the Empress. So, Leo, Cancer, yeah, you're, the only way you're going to have, um, you know, Taurus energy, you might associate this with, um, be Moon Rising, something else, you know, um, signs, um, which, you know, luck of the draw, but could speak to that, or could speak to transit, you know, there. Right now, Uranus is the big deal, um, and Taurus, for sure. Um, but would this be an energy kind of expressing where you're at uh, uh, in your own self around love and relationships right now? I mean, it's just it's perfect. I'm trying to think like what's more perfect. I don't know. This might be perfect. It's the strongest divine feminine energy in the deck. Um, and is there no better way to come into the relationship now? I don't know. Let's see. The bottom of the deck is uh, I'm starting to read this more. Eight of Pentacles. So I always love this card. It's kind of positive to me. It's like hard to make the Eight of Pentacles negative. It's just uh, not necessarily positive either, but it definitely it just recommends working, you know? I mean, unless it joins up with somehow with Jupiter and it's like uh, workaholism or something, but I don't never see that with this. So it was a nice overhaul energy, and it makes sense with you being the Empress, because again, like what is, what's going to come out of Eight of Pentacles? You do that in your uh, college, in your younger years, and then what do you end up with? An Empress, an Emperor, a King, a Queen. You know, karma <laughs> or uh, manifestation comes. Wow, two major arcana, the Chariot card. I'm looking at this because you know I haven't really got to know this deck, and I really need to understand. Because uh, it's so different, you know, it's it took the work of this artist and he's already very <laughs> um, evocative to start with and then assigned it to tarot cards and this this deck just brings up all kind of things for me as I read intuitively and you know with you guys here uh, Leo, this is very Leo too, it's the red dress, it's so in command and so uh, fiery um, and really in command, you know, the lioness, the lion, you know, energy um, coming through. And the chariot is someone that's having like a feeling, a strong sense of victory. Because I try to separate this a little from how they're reacting to you specifically. As a, the empress to me represents kind of how you are, a little separate from how you're reacting. You, but, you know, when you're the empress, you're going to react a certain way to anybody. So... You know, but uh, still, and it's like, so this is great energy. Um, you caught them um, in a moment in their lives, can be seen in their astrological charts, uh, outer planets to 
sensitive places in their natal, you know, or, and or progressed in um, their um, mature or achieve some kind of victory. I mean, they're a very good match for you. I mean, I, I like to I think of always a moth to the flame, and here you're the flame, you know, and this would definitely, I mean, you can almost see it, the wings, it's a moth, you know. You're the flame, Leo, and they're the moth. So someone that's drawn to you, and I believe like with this chariot energy, um, it's uh, this emotional energy and it's moving, they're facing towards you in this reading. Um, they're very much drawn to you and they may be someone who's gonna physically come to you. I mean, this will often manifest in the initial meeting as they're moving physically to you across a room, across a bar, across a restaurant, across the street, across something, and crossing, jumping the chariot with a lot of this Cancerian energy of, um, you know, caring. <laughs> I mean, so they're drawn to you at a deep level. I mean, it's not uh, it's sexual, for sure. Like, they're, like, all kinds of sexual. Uh, but it's deep, too. It's like they have deep, deep feelings here for you. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, both of you are, like, really good places uh, to be in a relationship right now in your lives. Queen of Swords. Wow. Just got to look at it. You got to look at it a minute because, uh, again, evocative is what comes to mind with this deck. Now this is showing, Leo, your position uh, towards the other person. How are you reacting to them? And it, you would might say, well, I know how I'm reacting, but like, if by now you're not resonating, you don't have to waste any more time. So that's the main reason I do this. Plus it helps me understand, because it's like sinistry. In astrology, I try to tell people, you can't just look at sinistry you have to look at each person and really understand them because you know moon on uh, pluto is a thing you know but you really don't know really what's happening until you know what each person's moon and pluto energy is doing for them you know and that's not so easy why it makes sinistry so hard you know uh otherwise you just could you know be partially right you know <laughs> okay ace of cups wow there wow okay I want to see how they're reacting to you before I read your Queen of Swords here. Because it, it feels really complex to me. And your Queen of Swords is looking back and she's looking down in this reading um, at the Empress. You know, it's all kind of symbolism. I got to look at the masculine looking down here with these Ace of Cups at the Divine Feminine. And so your person comes in, just look at how feminine this energy is, you know, uh, and how emotional it is. I mean, there, it's really, moth to the flame, I, I, I stand by that, I like to see it, you know, it's a good uh, analogy, but be uh, assured um, that this moth has deep feelings for you, Leo, you know, uh, it is definitely for them, their uh, feelings for you to them are deep and heavy and probably past life and so however they look at it meant to be they gotta have you uh, and it's a yielding feminine energy that they're expressing and they're coming to you you know and the queen of swords spirit i'm just having trouble with this queen of swords energy and how you're reacting to them and you're looking back at the empress I think like, okay, I, I was gonna clarify, but I think I got it. Um, you're, you're taking a minute, cause the Empress is not gonna jump and you come to the Empress. So this person's coming to you and they're doing the right thing. Cause that's how it works. I mean, the Empress is not gonna come to you and kneel down before you. Um, you're gonna go to the Empress and you are, uh, if cross watcher, if you're there, uh, Leo, your person, I think, is. They're very much on their knees here. Uh, they're coming to you uh, with their uh, heart wide open, you know. Um, and also with aces, ace of cups, emotionally, it's a, if there's any doubt, Leo, this is very sincere energy that they have. Their emotions are sincere, you know. <clears throat> But I think you're looking back, and this is your mental side, 
and you're being uh, very strong and kind of critical, not of them, but just in your thinking. And um, hard to say where that would go. But I would say this if you're cross-watching. This Leo is seriously considering this relationship. This Leo is, this is very high-functioning energy, and they are, they are not going to do anything. Cross-watcher, I'll speak to, to right now lay your fears you might have. This person, doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter how hot you are, doesn't matter if you're the soulmate, doesn't matter. This person ain't going to jump on anybody, you know. They're going to take a minute. And that's what they're doing. And Leo, you're kind of looking down at your Empress self. And it's like, I feel like you're kind of really trying to decide, do I want to, I, I don't know, I want to put this the right way. I don't want to say to me, do I want to um, speak down? Do I want to... I mean, you look look at the Empress, and then now look at this Queen of Swords. What do you see? I mean, the Empress looks like a fucking interest. Empress. I'm not supposed to curse. I'll try not to. What she does, like such an Empress, like so, like Xena, <laughs> right? Now look at this woman. It looks like she's going to like this beautiful afternoon tea party, you know, in the summertime at some old estate, you know, in the mountains where it's cool, and they're having their afternoon tea. And everything's on, on real China, you know, doesn't she? I mean, this is a world of difference, you know, and like you're kind of looking back and it's, I feel like too, it's, it's this energy of like, you're considering that if you accept this person's uh, cup of love, um, you're not really going to be the empress anymore. Talked about this a lot. At the very least, you will then become kind of human. Because now the Empress is invulnerable, virtually in, unless an asteroid happens and just go the wrong way. I mean, it's invulnerable energy. But once she's in love, he's in love. It's not male or female here. Uh, but once there's love, then they become human and vulnerable again. It's like before you couldn't kill them, they live forever. But now, I don't know, they're just human. And I think you're kind of considering that, uh, Leo, wistfully. And I could end the reading right now <clears throat> and confidently say um, you're going to uh, yield to this person um, because um, you love them, I think, and you want... This is a very beautiful card, this Queen of Swords. She got a big sword, no doubt. Um, but, but she's uh, all kind of feminine um, energy here. So now I'm going to look at, uh, not from the bottom of the deck, thank you, Spirit. I'm going to look at your Two of Cups. This is your advice from Spirit. Uh, and they got the Ace of Cups. Let's kind of look at that card for a minute. Make sure you can kind of see it. Because it's another deck that I really got to have the balls to do it sometimes. Just do a reading where I just tell you what the positions are and just be like, and then hold up the next card and I have to rig it so I can actually see the reading real well which I don't know if you do um, I'm showing you each card so we'll get there so two of cups this is your advice from spirit in this relationship with this person that's on your heart and this is your person's advice from spirit wow wow this is very complex eight of cups there's a lot of emotion here, and it's all emotion on their part. Vice from spirit. I, just, I got the feeling you were going to take this, Leo. But look here now. I'll go a little Tyler's Tarot on you. <laughs> I love him. You know, he's like, you got to accept him. Right? He's a good reader. So, <laughs> you know... Um, You're thinking about this person. If this, you're still here and you're resonating, then they're in your heart enough to where like they're the ones this reading's coming up with. So they obviously mean something with to you. And this two of cups indicates advice from spirits that emotionally you have to make a choice. You know, I mean they're offering you the one of cups. That's pure. That's just like straight up. I love you like unconditionally. 
Um, no ifs and not like I love you, but you gotta sign a prenuptial. I love you, but you know you gotta stop smoking. I love you, but you gotta lose weight. Just I love you, right? This is a little bit of the okay, but I mean, kind of get that energy. And being that it's advice from spirit has to be taken seriously. Um, it's I think it's kind of confirming just the way you are about this. Um, you, Leo, you're really considering this at many levels. And I think here in this advice from spirits where uh, they're speaking about, uh, Leo, consider the emotional uh, advantages of um, coupling with someone who here might be your soulmate, you know? Now their eight of chalices matching your two I think what this shows with them is the, the fact that you are basically telling them, you know, I need a minute to make a choice. And particularly coming under this Queen of Swords, you know, looking back at yourself as the Empress. Um, so you're, you're not sure at the beginning. You're, you know, but the thing about it is this person is so sure at the beginning. And they come up against you, and you're just, you're not saying I don't love you, you're not saying, you're kind of like being the empress, you know. Um, but to them, it's a rebuff, and it's as if you don't love them, you don't love them as much as they love you. And they're seriously, emotionally feeling like, you know, maybe they need to just walk away. Because spirit's suggesting this uh, is advice. This is in the advice position, both of these. So um, it's saying that your person, if you're cross-watching, you need to pay attention to your feelings and they're valid. And one way or another, it kind of could be feelings regarding yourself here too. It's like maybe you came in too fast, too emotional, and Maybe you're realizing it. Um, this empress is likely someone older, someone more substantial in life in, in some way, in terms of uh, material wealth and everything, social status perhaps, um, that kind of thing. So I think there's an element to where you might want to consider um, spirits trying to help you and saying, consider these deep emotions, you know, before you walk away from something uh, when really, like, what's going on here is maybe a pattern. And this, again, would kind of indicate that you, Leo, are not really saying, you know, I don't love you or I don't want to date you or be with you or anything. Um, you're just saying, like, you know, I'm not going to go there yet. That's not how I'm built, you know. I'm the empress, right? You know, um, I'll let you know, <laughs> right? So... Queen of Pentacles, man, these queens really like this though. So this is down in the core of the heart spread here. And this is advice for your relationship as a whole. It does imply to me that there's a relationship here. Again, it's, um, I think, I think kind of the biggest thing I'm getting here. And you know, look at how romantic this cup is, right? This is your person, Leo. This is you, Crosswatcher. This is, how does that look? Right? It's like, man, so man, it kind of reminds me of, uh, soul train for some reason to keep a really good vibe for me but she's all kind of a good vibe and romantic right coupling now look this is she's looking back at herself not at you not into the reading what does that imply it's a little cold energy right i mean it's the queen of swords for god's sakes so you know this is what you're feeling um and i think like with the advice being for you leo again to, to uh consider the emotions here and you have the Queen of Pentacles coming in here. It's like uh, you guys could together uh, be uh, form a really strong base. And I, I you know, to make it simple, um, I would say, you know, even though you're, um, you know, a fire sign, Sag, uh, you must have some earth, you know, it seems to me, in your energy and more. And this person, obviously, packing your, your partner here, a lot of water in their energy. Um, <clears throat> And you might be packing some air energy too. Uh, but I think like it just shows a nice balance. I think if you were look at synastry, if you look at your composite, you'd see that as a couple, 
um, you guys have a lot of stability. This is around like Saturn to Venus, Saturn to DC, AC, especially in a composite, uh, positive, strong aspects to Saturn will show this kind of stability. Um, but it's a bit of a hard landing. Think of it. It's like they took a jump, you know, and you didn't exactly catch them. You know what I mean? Um, you weren't a knight in shining armor. Um, you know, you were just a sensible person uh, with uh, adult um, healthy boundaries, it seems to me. And look at this. Three kings. My God, man. Ends up with the king of swords energy here. Just check this king out outcome of this heart spread. I tell you, this is a really complex read. I get set these cards, I'm kind of like blowing my mind a little bit right now. I mean, it's all kind of karmic. They mostly are, you know. But again, uh, much like the Queen of Swords, uh, packing the uh, large sword, um, but it's like her, he has this kind of distracted look. She's not really paying attention. He's look. She's looking down here at your you as the empress, you know, and, and he's just kind of looking away, you know, he's kind of looking down at the uh, Ace of Cups energy and at your partner all together in this position. But make no doubt, you know, it's the King and Queen of Swords. So, I mean, by the fact that you have a King and Queen here, um, um, in terms of social status and everything, I kind of get the feeling now that your your partner here, Leo, is not, you know, that far below you, but probably something there. Um, but they're uh, very high-functioning in uh, their way. I mean, they could be uh, artists. It's someone probably that works online, uh, writer, uh, I don't know, someone that can do creative work or something. I get the feeling. I'm very emotional, you know, um, very intuitive. Uh, something that might use that ability, um, but but you ground them, I think, like big time here. And Queen of Pentacles is all kind of reassuring here, Leo's. And you know what you end up with is a really strong relationship that's based on open honesty, directness. It's I imagine like basically this is the relationship, uh, Leo, you've always wanted. And it's a relationship that this other person's also a little bit of that Libra energy coming in, wanting to, not wanting to deal with the hard stuff, wanting to soften things, and often not saying what you think because you know the other person might not want to hear it. And here it's in a relationship where two people are whole and secure, and you can say what needs to be said, and all kind of strong. I mean, the Queen of Pe Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Swords united, you know. Um, if you're not already married, you, I got to see that coming. Invite me if you do. Um, I'll invite you to mine. <laughs> got to do that.